And there you go. So as you guys can see, it looks way better with the paint job. Everything came out really good. I still have to do a little bit of matte black touch up to some of the stuff here and here. You can see there's still some little stuff, some scuffs and some overspray from somebody else's uh, stuff they had going on but as far as the red goes gave it great accent across the body and now i can actually see out of both mirrors i cleaned off all the paint they had on the mirrors with paint stripper i still have to clean that bottom one up just a little bit but uh, i would say this uh came together pretty good i also got all the overspray that they had from the black off all the stickers like i did a ton of work to this thing in a very short amount of time so looks sexy now so now i'm waiting on my 3d yamaha emblem that should go from here to here uh, and it should be 3d and red and black so it should fit the scheme and this jet ski should look pretty darn nice when we're done starts up like a top i'm waiting on a primer bulb to get here and the key as you can see it came out really good I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I can replace this because I really don't like the color of this. This seems off compared to everything else. I think this used to be black and then the sun got the best of it. But I was looking at what was underneath it and clearly, guys, this is almost a 30-year-old jet ski. You can see that used to be blue and then they painted it. So I'm going to see if I can figure out where I can get another one of these, these black tip uh, jet sports and see if I can get one that's actually black again and clean and then we'll work on these buttons a little bit and we'll see if we can put the heat gun on them and restore the the faded plastics here and there but other than that I mean everything came out super good like I said I just have to take my utility knife down just get some of the little bit of overspray I wasn't able to correct for but at least I have I can working mirrors now and then I need to come back through here with a little bit of touch up black on some of the cracking points from this being foam and flexing and you know they use the wrong glue you know they use the wrong paint but other than that it came out really good so just got some little touch up stuff to do on the black at this point but for the most part she's ready we're going to take it to Lake Thanode Sassa here pretty soon put it on the water before I decide to get it legal Make sure everything's working good with it. And we'll see if this little 700 single carb can actually plow through the water. And uh, I ordered the uh, <laughs> flush kit for this because we will see some salt water with this thing. And uh, I made sure to get some pretty durable paint that I put on here. I would have loved to have recoated all this. And as you can see, I got a little overspray there from the red. But I would have loved to have recoated all this over the bumps. And maybe I will at some point or just replace the bumpers. I'll recoat this, sand it all down, and then give it another fresh paint job so that you don't see all the divots and bangs from people hitting the docks and stuff. And I'm also disappointed about this. I wasn't able to get this off to repaint it. Now this is the primer valve. I wanted to do that in red, and I also wanted to do the cooling hole in red, but I was unable to get that off either, so kind of sucks. Sucks. But most of this under the seat and everything came out really good, and then I got to do some black touch-up here, but all that came out just fantastic. So, and then some black touch-up up there, and good to go. Seat locks in, and locks in. We're good. We're good, man. So, for 500 bucks... Uh, I think we got a pretty darn good deal. We're not going to know until we hit the water. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll know more once we put it on Lake Thanode Sassa, which is a private lake, and we actually take it out and rip it around a little bit and see how it does. I have no idea how old that gas is in there, but the fact that it's running on it is, is good. However, before I take it out to the water, I may actually stop and put some fresh gas in it and do some more 50 to 1 mix and... Uh, because I, I, I would like to have some fresh fumes rolling around in there if possible. No clue how old that gas is. It's got three quarters of a tank of fuel in there and we don't know how old it is. So the jet ski came out good. So it's almost almost ready for the water. I wanted to take care of all that. I'm waiting on the emblems. They should be here on the 12th. We'll put the, the uh, 3D Yamaha emblems on there. I'll spray them with some clear coat and then we'll put them on there. And uh, that way they don't crack or get corroded by the salt water and fade out real bad. And then I'll see if I can replace this neck, which is clearly hiding how bad this is underneath here from the from the 90s. Purple. Yes, 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 yes. This used to be purple. You can just tell it used to be purple. This bumper guard used to be purple. As I was going, I was like, oh boy. They had some interesting color choices in the 90s and the 80s, didn't they? But uh, yeah, everything came out good. So wait for the flush kit to come in and uh, takes full throttle, revs up, everything's good there. Wait for the primer 
uh, squeeze ball to come in. That'll make it easier to start when we first get it out there. Other than that, turbine sounds good. I had a good look at the impeller system on here. Everything's clean in there. I didn't see much salt water. Check both of the uh, um, boat plugs on the back. Rubbers are still in good shape, so I think this thing should do all right on the water. We'll never know, though. I got to take this title down, but first, before I sign any titles and do all that craziness and stuff, uh, we'll go ahead and put it on the water and make sure it even functions first. I figured it couldn't hurt to paint it. We only bought it for 500 bucks, so, you know, if it doesn't run good and it's got a lot of problems, it will be a lot easier to sell looking nice than not looking nice. But uh, I did a compression test on it, and I'll show you guys that video tomorrow. And um, I wouldn't have put all this work into it if I didn't think it was capable of being on the water, just so you're aware. But let's just say the numbers were solid enough for me to feel comfortable to put it on the water. So we'll see what happens. See what happens. It's not bad for a 95 Wave Raider 700. Looks looks all right. I kind of wish they hadn't done all the painting, but whatever. I still made it look better than a than a black crayon cruising across the water. At least it has some accent color now. Fuck, it fixed my bike. Black and red and black and red ski. And black and red helmet. I mean, you guys know. Look, black, red. Ha! Huh? I like black and red. What can I say? All right, toodles. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right.